this is the weekly horoscope for Capricorn for the week of August 21st, 2023. Hello, my Cappies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has. I really appreciate the love energy. So this week, we have a kite energy with the third house, the first house, the fifth house, and the ninth house. So this is a positive time for communications. You can be relying more on your intuition. You can be very creative. This could be empathy. Um, epiphanies, healing energy, um, the sun is quincunxing Pluto in retrograde as well with the 8th house, Virgo in the ninth house, and you have a lot of energy in the ninth house, so this could be um, working on yourself, you're not so quick to jump into anything new, you can be more about your financial stability at this time, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing or whatever opportunities are being approached to you at this time, you're not so quick to jump on it with this energy, Mercury is going in retrograde at this time, so you know that your moons are going to be out of whack at this time with this energy. Pluto is in retrograde and the stellum in your 8th house is still is leaving. Um, so and now it's moving into your ninth house. So you, the message is restrained restrictions at this time um, with this energy. It's not the easiest time for love relationships. Love relationships could be tested. For some of you, this could be you no longer having faith in God, God forbid, um, questioning your faith at this time god forbid you're more realistic you gotta touch it see it in order to believe it this is old solutions to problems no longer work anymore so you may have to do more at this time you may have to make more sacrifices or more comp compromises for your relationship there could be a lot of drama happening um, friends are usually not very supportive now and you may feel isolated and lonely you may also have social obligations that frequently put you in contact with people that you rather not deal with or rather not talk to on the 22nd you have an opportunity to get rid of debt more quickly inheritance or financial windfall could be coming up you will have the opportunity to make meet many interesting people often from different backgrounds from yourself it will enable you to be more free in your association that has a tendency to eliminate expectations in your relationships that may be obligatory in nature. Deep commitments are not especially likely at this time. New romances um, that begin now are super unreliable because Mercury is going retrograde. So it's an inauspicious time for that. So just get to know the person. So this could be like a booty call. You may not make any plans to get back together um, for the two of you. And this could be like leaving it to chance. Um, jealousy or possessing possessiveness seems to be lacking you um seems to be lacking you or your partner may elect to have an open relationship at this time you have a greater freedom to change your social circle now or escape an organization that you belong to um, without negative repercussions someone may unexpectedly help you with your career then on the 23rd at 5:01 a.m the sun enters virgo then at 3 59 p.m Mercury goes retrograde. This is you throwing tantrums and TRRs. You may not be getting along with others or fighting with others. This is usually a time of spiritual crisis when you do not know what to do or believe anymore. A crisis in faith or disillusionment could be happening. This is likely to be a discouraging time for you. You are feeling lethargic and lacking drive and energy. Others are likely to misunderstand your actions or intentions, which could be a source of embarrassment or lead them to opposing your efforts without your understanding the cause. You may be a Attracted to the mystical side of life. Legal dealings may be in a cloud of confusion. Misunderstandings now are likely to lead to unpleasant or embarrassing situations. Avoid contracts or negotiations if at all possible at this time because you can be you can be um, lied to, deceived, or somebody could be taking you take like talking you out of your money. Um, you let me see. So be sure to get your facts straight. Um, others are not as transparent as you would like them to be. For obvious reasons, there is a danger with business dealings. Trust your intuition. For some of you, this is change happening, especially with the way you used to be. So there could be some pressure to perform for others or be that person that you used to be, but it'll get you in, tr in trouble later on. So just be yourself, be you, and do you at this time because you're a boss bitch, okay? And just be the boss bitch. And be like, change is a good thing, you know? And show everybody 
you know, walk your walk, walk your truth, you change. You're not that person anymore. You're calmer. On the 24th, try not to focus too much on yourself. Others may be put off by your vanity or you could be talking a lot about yourself. So make sure that when you're on the phone with others that you ask them first, how are you doing before you delve into all about you? Your sense of what is beautiful may not be popular. Avoid overindulgence. You may feel lazy and unmotivated and lack discipline to get any work done and you're prone to putting things off last minute. You will probably overindulge in food and drink unless you are being careful. Um, you are likely to suffer indigestion or heartburn at this time. Financially, this is a time where you're prone to extravagant spending. You may overspend or make bad judgments with investments. Watch for a tendency. Ah for vanity. You should be careful with feelings that generate overbearing attitude. You may feel bossy and want to throw your weight around. Others may feel like your ego has grown too large. Your physical vitality is lower. You will probably not um, be as self-assured and may have doubts about the direction you're going in your life. You will probably feel lethargic. If you're normally driven individual, this may be a time where it feels like your will or determination are at odds with each other. You may be plagued with self-doubts and lack of confidence in your ability to make the goals you set for yourself. You may feel at times there is just no point in continuing on because the original purpose is somewhat lost. You may inadvertently generate opposition to your plans because you have not been clear enough about your intentions. You could be changing your circle of friends with this energy. The person that you used to be is no longer that person at this time. So your situation with the friendships could be changing and you may not be on speaking terms with other people because you're more about your happiness, your needs, your wants, and your desires. You could be more about about you at this time rather than others with this energy and they're not making it about you at this time so you'll be feeling some kind of damn way about it on the 25th with this energy here i feel um this is a time of light embracing re reality of a situation or navigating through confusing situations or situations that seem to be a little bit of an illusion at, to you at this time this could also be a time of self-realization and truth being revealed and you may not like what you're going to see this week with this energy here so you're just kind of like going through it but I do feel like a little bit of truth here and there is going to be um, helping you put pieces together at this time with this energy just don't allow your imagination to get too carried away with this energy here you know where there's smoke there's fire but don't go creating like a whole damn picture because all is not what it seems okay um this is a good time for escaping through a book with this energy you have a tendency to daydream your intuition your creativity are very strong now you could have exciting experience or strange coincidences with this energy i feel also this is a fine time to begin um, learning a musical instrument you may be attached or attracted to the metaphysics or philosophy you may take up a you may take up or renew an interest in the psychics or divine arts your speech may slow down as a reflection of your increased sensi sensitivity to the world around you you are absorbing things that your environment different um, environment differently than before you may be somewhat sensitive to criticism and you may expect others to be as sincere as you um, so avoid sub subjecting yourself to a situation that you're too abrasive or harsh right now if possible this is a good time for writing fiction and undertaking um, the requires of imagination at this time Alrighty. The first card I come up with is the Knight of Wands. I feel like for some of you here, this is a time of moving forward. This is a time of meeting new people in your life with this energy. This could be new beginnings coming up for you as well. The Seven of Wands, this is a great time for um, speaking engagements with this energy. This could be a popular energy time for those of you in media and social media with this energy here. For some of you here, this could be you speaking to a group or speaking to um, like you're in a leadership position and you have to give direction to a group. The Ten of Coins puts an emphasis on money. This could be a competitive time for you in regards to making money and reaching certain status quo at this time. And there's money at the end of the rainbow with this status quo. So there could be a percentage that you may have to meet at this time to get your check with this energy. The Tower card talks of traveling for some of you. For some of you, this could be a move happening with this energy and this could be change coming up for some of you here this week. Expect the unexpected with this energy. Oh, I'm hearing something here. Big difference. Ooh, I don't know what that means, but um, 
Yeah, so this could be like something changing in your life that's going to make a big difference or something happening that's going to be, something's happening and it could be like a big difference, okay? So something that you already know about. Wow, okay. So well, let me know in the comment bars what was the big difference this week, okay? For some of you, this is a great time for athletes. Um, for others of you, you could be making a lucky move. You could be at the right place at the right time with this energy. The Four of Wands, this could be dealing with family, traditions. This is a happy energy time for you as well with this energy here. You're more about your stability. Again, a move happening, dealing with renovations. For some of you, you could be an overnight success with this energy as well. Okay, um, again, traveling, hangman card, indecisions, but you could be making some impulsive moves here with this energy because you got the Wheel of Fortune card and the Tower card. So there could be something heavy on your mind. This could be a move for some of you here because you're Gemini rising um, with this energy. So that could be happening here as well. The King of Cups, I feel for some of you here that you could be dealing with somebody that's a stickler for the rules or this could be dealing with a water sign with this energy, a cancer sign. You may feel like friend requesting or being friends with this water sign with this energy as well. The Ten of Swords, a reversal of fortune is happening here as well. So you could be seeing a lot of changes coming up for you during this time period with this energy. The um, Seven of Swords, you can be more quiet and to yourself during this time period as well, all right? And keeping more to yourself with this energy. The Ace of Wands, taking creative risks during this time period you're being open-minded to try new things during this time as well with this energy the king of wands you can be dealing with somebody that's a yeller ah okay so be careful i feel oh my god you could be dealing with a leo but somebody that is a yeller is what i'm hearing um with this energy so just be aware of that at this time okay so somebody could be yelling at you or just you could be dealing with like a Leo or somebody that has alcoholism and they could be a little bit of a yeller during this time period or just find like any excuse really to scream and yell at you for no damn reason, okay? Um, so just be aware of that at this time. I feel for others of you, this could be dealing with somebody with a significant age difference, like seven to 10 years with this energy as well. So this could be a new relationship coming in. This person could be very giving to you, very generous, or this could be you manifesting a lot of things into your your life for some of you this is a great time for those of you in media it's a very creative time for you for some of you this could get monetized on the social media for some of you with all these wands you could be very cerebral and in your head at this time the hierophant card i feel like this is a time of introspection fate is definitely intervening so whatever fate may bring go with the flow the seven of coins i feel like you may be sitting on your hands about certain things but at the same time whatever it is that you're manifesting it's coming into your reality okay i feel for some of you you need to be careful with your giving energy i feel like you may not be getting your thank you when it comes to certain ideas that you give to other people at this time or you're not getting credit for your work that you do for others with this energy i feel like there is a victory coming up this could be with court for some of you the ten of cups your perspective and outlook on life is going to be changing or your wants and needs and desires are going to be changing the three of coins this could be a creative collaboration happening here with this energy for you as well um, for some of you this is a time of spiritual growth and growth the star card manifesting what you want at this time with this energy for some of you this could be a wish coming true during this time period as well um for some of you hope reigns supreme so you could be receiving some much needed good news during this time period optimistic energy coming through the three of wands this is teamwork makes the dream work during this time period as well for some of you there could be a lot of communications going on this week for you again a popular energy time for those of you in media and social media a great time for computer programmers or digital artists with this energy you could be working this week or getting a job or a project that you could be working on this week as well with this energy I'm hearing something with telecommunications with this energy so for some of you, you could be a motivational speaker this is a great time to be revolutionary in your way of thinking with this way with your way of thinking I do see a lot of internet stuff coming up for you or multimedia stuff with this energy the lovers card a great time for contracts and negotiations I feel I scratch your back you scratch my back and we both help help each other grow at this time love is coming but it may not be happening anytime soon and it may be very unexpected so you may not see this coming at all okay it could be very unexpected it could be somebody that that you want to be with as well 
and it just it's gonna happen when it happens it's not it may happen now it may happen tomorrow it may happen like when pluto goes direct in november but it's gonna be very un unexpected okay so it's like it's gonna happen and you're gonna be like what the hell you know kind of thing i do see a time for recognition and success i do see lots of thoughts of future so this is a serious love relationship that's gonna come through I feel like it's going to be till after when Pluto goes direct with this energy. The Four of Swords, this is somebody that you already know or you already been with. Um, you could be reconnecting with that person with this energy as well. The Five of Swords, for some of you, you could be bullied or harassed at this time or not getting along with certain individuals. The Page of Coins, other people could find you reliable. Other people could be jealous of you, of your success. <coughs> And good things coming to you. So what? Let the good things happen. Haters are going to hate with this energy. I do see another source of income coming in for you during this time period as well with this energy. And the Eight of Cups. I feel like you're over certain situations in your life and you're ready to walk away from them during this time. I love you, my cappies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses. Mwah.